Thank you very much, all of you. I come from the state of Kerala, which makes the southernmost tip of a country that has walked through great cultural, political, and spiritual historical paths. With its lengthy mountain ranges of prosperity and wealthier bioeconomy on one side, the rainforest of world famous Silent Valley, where the living existence of endangered species is frozen, the world of thick biodiversity of flora and fauna, and finally, a monsoon in this beautiful Kerala that is hugged by the western cards that conserve all of these. A state of art and culture which was collaboratively built up by poets, social reformers and spiritual leaders through the historical history of a modern renaissance. I am talking about Kerala. Rich with 100% literacy, which become a world role model for its brotherhood of oneness. Even while other state of India suffered severe religious and communal rights. Same Kerala is existing today as remindings of a disastrous flood. Hardly few days have passed through that we faced the greatest havoc that took hundreds of lives and left thousands stranded. Human encroachment on nature is sure to lead to major disasters. As seen, with all di natural disasters, just like in wars, women and children are the primary victims. The urbanization built up by burrowing mountains and deforestations on large scale has led to this devastating situation. The environmental crisis and climate changes over the world globe have resulted in the natural decline of life on earth. We shouldn't forget that fact that the future generations are also entitled to enjoy this vast topography of mountains, rivers, forests and oceans that our great-grandfathers passed on to us with utmost protection and care. Any romantic fantasy would be incomplete without the beauty of trees, rivers, rains, snow and flowers. While we are suffocated by global warming, we shouldn't be late to realize that our social awareness and environment are our own reflections. I personally experienced this wind, forest, mountains, rivers and all living beings through my musical and beautiful mystic journey. He was born into a culture which spoke loudly about a world without borders and land where poets sung, this world is one family and well-being to everyone. Vasudheva Kudumbaka, Loga Samastha Sukhino Bhavandu. And ultimately this leads us to the fact that we shouldn't fail to realize the tears of all living beings are salty. That salt comprises the major share of all oceans and that sea is the tears of the weeping forest. 
when we fall in love with each other we are unknowingly accommodating nature into our love at least in our remaining days we should uplift ourselves as a romantic partner of all living entities along with its irreplaceable connection with nature it is our responsibility to join hands as a solace in the hardship and distress of all living beings who are victims of natural calamity and wars my 40 years of music life has always reached a language of empathy and consolation i expect an embrace of endless love and affection from all my dear ones here while you stand with the whole communities trying to raise up from any calamity and also with my own people in kerala who are victims of a devastating flood and a sincere gratitude to one and all from the bottom of my heart thank you very much all of you love you all take care